Hi there, this is Jen and thanks for joining me today. Today we are going to create uh, 12 Easter cards using these adorable bunnies and background papers. Um, and the paper pack has six sheets of a six by six um, pattern paper. And this is more of a kind of muted paper pack, um, not so much like the bright Easter colors, but uh, more of just kind of a laid back muted um, a paper pack. So there are six sheets of pattern paper, and then there are two sheets of ephemera, which are these adorable little bunnies and some bunny ears. And then there is also a sheet of um, different Easter sentiments. And so the top four can be cut out with a two inch round uh, die cut or circle. And then the bottom two can be cut with a one and a half inch um, a die cut circle or just hand cut. Um, so I've gone ahead and this paper pack is free up on my website. Um, so if you go to my blog, I will have a blog post um, sharing these cards and you can find out how to get uh, this free paper pack. It is a digital download. Um, and if you're not uh, comfortable or familiar with digitals, um, this is really easy. Um, I don't have any special type of printer. I have just a regular um, color printer that I print these out on. Um, I am using hammer mill cardstock to print these, but I think I'm going to switch to a uh, matte photo paper um, because because I have uh, read that that uh, will print images a little bit better, uh, but it's really easy. And if you don't either have a printer um, or um, have access to a printer, you can always uh, download these and have them print at like an office supply store. But these cards were all super easy to make and I will have templates and measurements um, of everything up on the blog so that um, it makes it a little bit easier. We can just uh, print that out if you want to or refer to it. Um, so several of the cards in each set are going to be basically the same layout with some little changes here and there. So, And for the two sheets that have the bunny ears, um, and the bunnies on them. I just went ahead and used my scissors to fussy cut those images out. Um, it might work on a like a scan and cut or a Cricut. Um, I am not positive on that though because there are no uh, like dark lines around the images so they might and they are fairly light so they uh, the machine might not recognize um, where to cut but uh, it's definitely worth a try. Um, and since these can be printed out multiple times for as long as they are on your computer, um, there are no worries about you know ruining an image or anything like that. Uh, so these are really um, easy to work with. Um, I really love working with digital images and digital papers uh, just because of the ease of use, um, as well as the fact that if you need a last minute card and say you don't have a specific sentiment or a specific image, uh, there are lots out there that uh, are instantly available for download once you um, either get them for free or purchase them. So there's lots out there and a lot, I think a lot more companies um, have actually offered uh, digital images than um, they have been in the past past. And since there is no physical product that you are buying, it is a lot less expensive to um, purchase digital images compared to a traditional um, physical product that you um, are going to have uh, mailed to you. So this is the next set of cards. Uh, there are several Easter sentiments uh, in this set. And what I'm planning to do is do a free digital pack um, every month with a different theme. And so this uh, month's uh, paper pack is called Bunny Hop. And of course, it is all about these cute bunnies and um, more of an Easter or a spring um, feel. So the next card, I went ahead and I made these uh, 1 8 inch strips using the pattern paper. And then I believe this is a two inch uh, panel that is going in the middle. And then um, I'll finish that off on the other side with another 1 8 inch uh, paper strip. And I've kept all of these cards fairly basic um, as far as just using uh, the pattern paper and the different sentiments and um, ephemera pieces that come with the paper pack. Uh, but you can definitely embellish these with 
uh, enamel dots with stickles with you know twine and ribbons and whatever um, you want to make these a little more your own style or to uh, jazz them up just a little bit and for this next set of cards I took a, a two inch square die and cut out the middle of each of the um, pieces of pattern paper and then switched off that middle piece so um, they each have one of the pieces of pattern paper I'm sure that make that doesn't make any sense when I say it uh, but as you can see you can see what I'm doing here um, I'm gonna go ahead and adhere the a main piece of pattern paper and then the square from the other card um, piece of pattern paper and I do pop this up with some really thin um, foam and lay that down in the middle and then this one's going to get the little bunny that's kind of you know peeking his head up and both of these cards have the sentiment happy Easter and if you print sentiments or pattern paper or anything like that on a laser printer um, it's really great because you can then foil the um, sentiments and add a little bit of shine um, that way but that's a really uh, great way to get some foiled uh, sentiments or images um, is by printing with a laser printer. Um, these next two cards are cards that um, I just had some of, I'm just trying to use up some of the leftover pieces. Um, so I ended up when I was done with this just with a tiny bit of paper left over, but I wanted uh, for one of these last cards, I didn't, I ran out of all my bunnies and I didn't want to print another sheet. So I'm just taking kind of like the um, main paper where uh, the main six by six sheet that has an example of all the papers on it and I took my um, a circle die to cut out those little bunnies and then I'm just going to pop a sentiment on there um, and I believe that is going to be it for the cards today so here are all of the cards um, and again you can get the pdf for these cards that shows you the cards as well as the different measurements uh, over on my blog um, and these to get the free um, paper uh, you just have to go to the shop and add it to your cart and it's an instant download so uh, if you're interested in having some fun uh, with these papers uh, I will leave all of the information linked in the description below. But that is it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like it or find it informative, I would love a thumbs up. As always, um, I thank you for taking some time out of your day to spend with me. And I hope to see you next time.